Unrolling history. Military grade TP. Oh, oh, this is going to be beautiful. And all my notes and everything completely ready to do a video on Sergeant Reckless. And then this happened and completely derailed my entire train of thought. Uh -huh. My wife somehow found and then accidentally bought or bought it on purpose to upset me single ply toilet paper. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Today we're talking about military grade toilet paper, which is honestly going to be a brief history of toilet paper. And then it's rapidly just going to okay. devolve into me yelling my frustrations at the existence of single ply toilet paper, okay, makes also sense. known as military grade toilet paper or John Wayne toilet paper, because it's rough, it's tough, and it doesn't take shit from anybody. So, <laughs> Oh my God, there's, there's, there's no way, there's no way that's the legitimate name, right? That's perfect. You're here to learn about military history. Sorry, not going to be a whole lot of that this week. But if you wanted to watch the world's angriest, most unhinged TED talk about bathroom habits, well, you're in luck. I'm ready. I need it. Oh, that is some emotional damage. I make dad jokes without trying sometimes, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, our story begins at the dawn of mankind. People have always been wiping their butts. It's just a matter of how. And until very recently in human history, you were kind of just stuck with using whatever you had readily available. If you lived in the woods, you would use some leaves, maybe some moss. Apparently, if you live near the ocean, you would use seashells, which I don't really understand, but whatever. I don't get it. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm totally lost here. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> then mankind advances to the point that we start recording history. We know that the Greeks were wiping their butts with broken pieces of pottery. We know that the Romans used a communal sponge on a stick that they would then just leave in a bucket of vinegar next to the toilet for the next guy. Yeah. People always say how good the Roman Empire was, but people don't want to be in the Roman Empire. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> River Rocks. I, I could see that. Pottery, not so much. I could see it, though. Which is disgusting. And then it's also pretty well documented that the Native Americans and pilgrims were wiping their butts with corn cobs, which mm. I have questions, <laughs> but I'm also not sure I want answers. <laughs> Fast forward to 590 AD, China is credited with the first use of toilet paper, which makes sense because they invented paper. Now, Fast forward again, like 900 years, yeah. nobody else is using toilet paper yet. It's 1455 and King Henry VI has just created a new position in his royal council. The is this the, uh, oh God, is this the position where the dude was literally there to uh, bring around the little uh, little uh, uh, toilet box? Is this the position? I'm pretty sure this is. I know, ran I know way too many random facts about history. Yeoman of the Stool. This yep, job yeah. title is awarded to a man by the yeah. name of William Grimsby, and for the rest of his life, his entire job is to clean the king's butt. Then, after 30 years of being the royal chief yeah. cleaner, he retires. The position gets renamed to Groom of the Stool. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Yep, Groom of the Stool. There it is. And I'm not kidding you. One person has held this position from the years of 1455 to 1901, the English monarch has always had a royal butt cleaner. Yeah. And this is the part where you're like, okay, where's the punchline? The chubby electron guy's just trying to make fun of Great Britain again. Like, no, this is real life. There's no punchline. It's documented. It's actually- Yes, no, this is actual fact. This, this is actually a thing that happened. I, I can, uh, my own personal delving into history, I can also cite that this is a thing. I, I can add credence to this being an actual thing documented every dude that's ever held the position of royal butt wiper from 1455 to 1901 and most of them got knighted for it could you imagine that guy hanging out at the bar with all the other knights like hey how'd you get knighted let me tell you man i've seen some shit <laughs> yep i did notice and i was about to comment that i saw sir before most of their names so i was like damn they're actually knighted aren't they <laughs> your butt napkins my lord <laughs> Fast forward again, 1799, we're like 40 years into the Industrial Revolution. America has won the Revolutionary War against Great Britain, officially upgrading from the USB to the USA. Nice. It is at this point that the mass production of paper begins. You start seeing things like the Farmer's Almanac, the Sears Catalog, and overall scrap paper becomes much more readily available, and that's what people start using to wipe their butts. Which is actually why today, if you look at the Farmer's Almanac, there's a black dot in the upper right-hand corner. That's so you know where to drill the hole out so you can hang it on a hook in the outhouse. It's kind of yeah. like... Oh, what? I actually didn't know this. But Kip, you literally live in Idaho. Yeah, I, there's still some things I don't know, man. Damn, okay. That, that, yeah, no, that's fair, actually. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. God, I love learning random facts. 
like an homage to the history of the fact that the farmer's almanac was primarily used as toilet paper for a couple hundred years. Hey, reading material! So, farmer's almanac, Sears catalogs, and outhouses are pretty much the toilet standard in North America for the next hundred years. Then, late 1800s, indoor plumbing finally becomes more prevalent in, like, hotels, fancy businesses, and really rich people houses. Also worth noting, we could have had the flushable toilet way sooner, because despite the fact that they weren't really around until the late 1800s, it was actually invented in the late 1500s by a poet by the name of Sir John Harrington, oh, but no. the entire idea was suppressed by Queen Elizabeth the first because why, why does this not why does this strike me as making sense actually? Why does this strike me as making a lot of sense? <laughs> Sir John Harrington was critical of the English government at the time. <laughs> so she decided that she was going to take his blueprints, have one made just for herself, and then never let it see the light of day for like a couple hundred years. So Damn. yeah, she was literally sitting on the only toilet known to mankind and hogging the technology all to herself. So that's actually like, that's like a low key flex though, actually. That's... That's a flex. Go ahead and add that to the list of reasons that the First Amendment's important, because without the freedom of speech, some government official might come along and literally deprive mankind of flushable toilets for like 300 years Damn. just because they don't like what somebody's saying. So then 1897, an American inventor by the name of Joseph Gayetti invents the world's first commercial toilet paper. He kind of markets it as like a medical tissue paper for the bathroom that's supposed to be better for you than the Sears catalog or the Farmer's Almanac. For one, it doesn't clog up your toilet like those do because it <laughs> dissolves in water, and for two, it hasn't gone through a printing process, so it should be healthier for you because the printing process back then incorporated like lead ink and arsenic and all the absolute legends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The past was the worst. It's like when you play like Assassin's Creed Unity and like the very like the very vivid green dresses in uh in France, right? And you're like, mmm. Isn't that arsenic based? <laughs> the past was the worst other types of hazardous chemicals that you probably shouldn't be pressing up against your dirt button every day for probably. your entire life. And the entire uh, idea is kind of a huge flop because the American public is too shy to actually go out and buy toilet paper because I guess at this point in time, it was taboo to let anybody know that you pooped. So rather than selling directly to- Oh my God, is, is it st it's still his, right? Like, just, uh, like I laugh at really, <laughs> I laugh at stuff like this because it's funny, but people still have an aversion to actually talking about relevant topics like this. The consumer, he would end up doing private label stuff and selling it to like hotels and all the businesses that had toilets. So oh, instead neat. of having like the Gayetti brand of toilet paper, he would have, you know, such and such hotel would have their own private label packaging and he would sell it directly to them. Huh. And that's kind of how toilet paper got off the ground. Then over the course of Man, the next 50 killing. years, indoor plumbing becomes even more common amongst normal people. Toilet paper really takes off. And then in 1942, St. Andrew's Paper Mill does something revolutionary, oh. something that has changed the entire face of mankind. The genius scientists working for this paper mill said, My God. There it is. Holy moly. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Dear God. It's beautiful. <laughs> Holy fuck, we should just sell this. And from that point on, everybody ditched single ply toilet paper and only made two ply or greater toilet paper for the rest of human history because that was the right ethical thing to do, is what I want to tell you. But it's that's the ethical decision. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> That's not the reality we live in, because somehow, no. single-ply toilet paper still exists, and it's bullshit. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah, I'm out of line, but I like my toilet paper the same way Pixar likes their moms. Thick! Thick. Okay, not only am I mad about this, I'm legitimately confused at the science that goes into this technology. <laughs> I mean, how they get it to be so sharp, yet so fragile at the same time. <laughs> shouldn't it's not it's it shouldn't be this funny but oh my god it, it is i'm dying over here chat i'm so sorry <laughs> this shouldn't be it, sh it shouldn't be funny either this is way funnier than i think it is or i'm that sleep deprived
is terrifying. <laughs> Buh! You know, single ply toilet paper might actually be better for the environment because you're saving trees. Buh! Okay, look, do I like trees and want to help save the environment? Sure, why not? But let's be honest here. If there's a time and a place, and the minute your <laughs> finger breaks through that single ply toilet paper, <laughs> fuck them trees. Okay, I'm just trying to get clean and get back to work. I don't need to get in touch with my inner self. Furthermore, it's definitely not going to save any trees because the minute I realize that it's single ply toilet paper, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Two yeah. hours later. <laughs> because I'm like 250 pounds at summertime, and I know that with the slightest amount of gooch sweat, that first layer of single ply toilet paper is going to dissolve on contact like a fucking Listerine strip, okay? I'm not taking. <laughs> he, he's coming out swinging on this one, and I'm, di I'm dying. Oh my god. <laughs> I am, I am, this video is beating my ass, man. Oh my God. In any chances, unless God forbid I'm in a public restroom and some corporate executive has decided that he's going to raise profit margins this year by really cutting back on the toilet paper expense and installed one of these fucking things that rations uh, toilet paper. These yeah. things should be illegal. It's cruel and unusual punishment and false imprisonment. Okay. I went into this bathroom <laughs> thinking that I was just going to have a normal bathroom experience and go on with my day. And now I'm in a fucking saw movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to stop this because the way this is going, it's 2023 right now. I guarantee you if we don't do something about this by 2030, I'm going to have to watch an ad on the toilet paper dispenser <laughs> before it gives me a single sheet of single ply toilet paper. Oh my God. It's, oh, I hate that he's not, he's not too far off base though. Oh my God. Can you imagine like having to watch just ads? <laughs> Because it's ad, it's retention, it's ad time, oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, I can't, it's too good. And I'm going to have to go through 45 minutes of ads just to get enough paper to wipe my ass next time I have to go to the bathroom in public. So if you're like some high-level executive or a CEO or some marketing guy at a big company and they come to the table and they're like, we're really going to cut down on toilet paper expenses this year. That's how we're going to increase profit margins. Hear me out. Don't do that. Just be like, <laughs> go the exact opposite direction of everywhere else and then run an ad. Imagine if you went to a gas station and that gas station had ads that were running on TV that were like, come to Fat Electrician's Taquitos and Gas where we have <laughs> medium grade toilet paper because we think that if you're smart enough to shop here, you're also smart enough to know how to wipe your own ass. It's a really good marketing <laughs> strategy because then every time they go to a different gas station and they see this shit, they're going to be like, oh wow, this gas station doesn't trust me to wipe my own ass. I should probably go to fat electricians taquitos and gas i'm putting that on a shot i want i want fat electricians taquitos and gas i want him to get big enough that he'll just open one or fat electricians taquitos and gas we trust you to wipe your own ass it's gonna be please perfect. i'm I so want worked it. up about this i'm just gonna have to run for public office that's gonna be my entire platform what the i'm gonna fuck abolish just single ply toilet paper and then leave you alone it's the only thing i can do at this point i mean if we can strong arm apple into starting to use the usb c port like every other phone on the planet yeah. we should be able to abolish single ply toilet paper so I guess, in conclusion, if you made it this far into this extremely unhinged TED Talk, thank you. Hopefully you learned something about the history of toilet paper or Queen Elizabeth I suppressing the toilet because she doesn't believe in the freedom of speech or something along those lines. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. God, that was funny. Now I have to go buy real toilet paper, then I'm going to finish my Sergeant Reckless video, and then I have to decide if I'm either going to run for public office or open up my own chain of gas stations. I want the gas stations. I've got to do an angry <laughs> rant video in like almost a year, so I guess it's time for one of those. I just don't know what topic I'm going to do it on yet. Oh no. Is this the right kind of toilet paper? Oh no. Uh oh. No. No, where did this like army toilet paper? Where did you even get this? <laughs> Sweetheart, we can afford like the medium grade toilet paper. I can, this toilet paper is so thin, I can see the future through it. What's the future hold? Poop on my finger, more than likely. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that was that was perfect. Oh my god. Oh, that was perfect. I needed that. I needed a good laugh. Oh. God, that was funny. <laughs> that was that was next level. I oh, I loved everything about that. That was perfect. 
Oh my god. Yeah, no, one plush sucks. And here's the thing, though. You're gonna have the TVs and the stalls, right? But here's the here's the no pun intended shitty thing about that is that you're gonna get someone going into the gas station. They're gonna like yank the TV, or they're gonna yank some circuitry from it to get like the 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 copper and shit, right? And then you, st it, but it's th they're just gonna not replace the TV at that point, and you'll still have to sit through the ad time. So like. <laughs> You don't have anything to view the, the thing on, right? You don't have anything to watch this ad on. But <laughs> it's still going to ad gate you, like not having YouTube premium or an ad blocker. Oh, my God. I hate this dystopia we're living in. It's so bad. If you really like this video, and just please go check out the fat electrician. I love his content. I love the stuff that he does. He is unapologetically himself. And... God, I want fat electricians, taquitos, and gas. I, I, I would, I would go there. I, I, I would really. Go there. That would be amazing. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on uh, one, on one ply TP in the comment section? Did you find this enlightening? Did you find this relatable? Uh, did this stir up some uh, some dark trauma you've had while you've been in the service or places that have one ply, uh, you know, toilet paper? I, I'm very curious on. Uh, I'm really. Really curious. Someone in chat just said, "Imagine the T-bell bathroom." Oh my god! Let me know in the comments, please. Keep it, uh, keep it professional. All that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.